winning and no losses, representing Diamond State Martial Arts out of Fayetteville, Arkansas, Jacob Corolla! And his opponent comes in also with one win and no defeats, representing Team Fusion out of Fairfield, Missouri, Got the out-of-town opponent of Jacob Calamity Carruthers versus the hometown guy, Garrett Cross. And we see the, the rangefinder again. Garrett Cross letting him know. And watch out for that right hand of Garrett Cross. He prefers it. And if it lands, it is powerful. But he really does have power in both hands. And there's that early, early level change. Nice chest wrap to... Stop the initial takedown attempt, but Jacob Carruthers on it. Yep, alluded to it in the walkout. This is where Carruthers believes he might have an advantage, you know, potentially over Garrett Cross. He's got the overwrap on the arm for a second. I was, I was thinking maybe Cross might try and whip him, but Carruthers doing a great job on that single leg ride here. And Cross is one of those guys too that's just he's very powerful. It's, he's going to be a hard guy to keep on the ground, and if you're going to do that. You know, you're going to probably have to do multiple attempts. And there's the power takedown that we talked about as well. They're doing a great job sucking the hips off the cage. As Jacob Carruthers, now he is on top looking to pass here. Gets into the side control. Wow. Knee on belly, straight to the mount like it was nothing. Great mind in here. Has Jacob Cross flattened out. I'm sorry, Garrett Cross. And Cross, you can see him you know, controlling his opponent, minimizing the damage here, trying to scoot his back to the wall to potentially get up. Right here, he's close there. Crothers working into the high mount position here. And there's that power. We got Calamity staying on top. Great control. Jacob Crothers giving a big smile to his corner here as he uh, cruises. Yeah, he's doing on top. everything. Everything that they're telling him to do, he's he's able to do it. He's you know posting frames on his face, just making it uncomfortable for Garrett Cross. Using using this elbow forearm saw essentially to open up the face yeah, very of Garrett Cross. You know, here at the amateur ranks, you cannot elbow to the ground, but you can use your forearm and your elbow to make your opponent uncomfortable and try to turn away. Yeah, you see it from Isaac Dolgarian a lot. He'll just rub his elbow all up and down your face and it just, it's, it could be damaging. Yeah, that forearm is almost like a, a, you know, a, a saw. If you feel along your forearm, it's just so bony and edgy. And you know, if the, the more you rub it into someone's face, the more scar tissue you're gonna develop and just, uh, incredibly uncomfortable position yeah no you know with that being said really not a ton of damage cross doing a good job although in a bad position right here uh not taking very much damage you know at all so but he knows where he does not want to be in round number two diamond state mma prospect jacob carruthers cruising here in round number one Yep, really good round for Carruthers, but we knew it, it was never going to be just one takedown in order to, you know, control Cross. He's going to have to do it here in round number two if he likes to do it. And for him to maintain that top pressure for the majority of that round was was a big, you know, big key to that success. Yeah, the confidence has to be flying high for Mr. Carruthers over here after round number one. You know, if, if I'm Garrett Cross, uh, you, you got to be in the face early of Jacob Carruthers. Yeah, that, that touch of the gloves, range finder, whatever you want to call it, that big shot really uh, it looks like it set Garrett Cross off. Yep. No touch here in round number two. As Nick Barron's our referee, gets us going. 
Good leg kick inside, leg kick. There's that right hand, another one. Single leg attempt here from Carruthers, but Cross has the neck right here. Oh, uh -oh. that's a tight guillotine too. Oh, he popped out. He was looking for the slam and then got caught in the guillotine. Put a little damper on his plans, but Carruthers back on top early looking to pass. Reverse triangle attempt for just a second, but now Carruthers here in side control, almost passing the north-south. Yeah, Carruthers is very defensively sound. You know, tight guillotine, especially with a strong guy like Cross, it's not easy to get out of. And then a potential triangle right there, pops right out, gets to the position he wants to, and, and Cross is gonna have to try to get up early. You know he's gonna push off the wall here with power. Did it early in the first round. You know, used that cage wow. to push himself up, but ended up, you know, almost being a detriment to his success there. Pushed himself further away from the cage and just now stuck back on bottom. Yeah, I think Carruthers was, was ready for it, too. He knew it was coming. Carruthers completely content here in the mount position. Yep, it's making it very uncomfortable and, you know, it's it's a lot of short shots. Well, it, he's it, doing. If you're getting crossed, you, you got to stop holding on here. You know, at some point, you have to start attacking the hips, trying to get an elbow inside. But, you know, you play this game of uh, giving up the posture control of the top opponent when you go to escape. So, you know, holding on here does you good for uh, not taking shots, but it it's almost impossible to get free from this bottom mount position if all you're doing is holding on. For a lot of a lot of amateurs, Garrett Cross would be able to just pop right up of any amount of attempt, but Jacob Carruthers is, is a guy that's very solid on the ground, and he's not going to make any mistakes any, as he hasn't made any tonight so far while, while he's in control. Yeah, Carruthers. But there's the power, and that's just straight athleticism by Garrett Cross. He's just so... Uh, you know, athletically sound. That was impressive. Oh, boy. Dropping bombs, Garrett Cross. That's what the people came to see. This guy throw down. He's going to have to fight off one more takedown here. He's doing a good job right here. 20 seconds left. Got the underhook oh. there. Big knee to the body. And right a right hand. hand, left hand. Carruthers oh. is hurt. The crowd is on their feet. And Garrett Cross is letting him fly. Great sprawl. Uh-oh, Anaconda choke locked up. 10 seconds left. No way. And that's it. No that's way. all she wrote. Derek Cross surviving the onslaught of Jacob Carruthers. Letting the hands fly and opening up that Anaconda choke. Garrett Cross 2-0 inside the Synergy FC cage in dominant finishing fashion. It's a different kind of animal is this guy and we've seen just early in the two fights that we've seen him this guy is impossible to a big flurry after being held down for almost eight full minutes yeah, excellent sprawl right there can lock it up Garrett Cross, the second he got to that front headlock, fed the submission, and here we get a finish of the Anaconda Choke as the closing bells were about Ladies to ring in round number two. Has ended in two minutes and 59 seconds of the second round. Your winner by tap out to the Anaconda Choke by the red corner, Garrett. Tick -tick 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 -tick